when Nikosi scrambled out of the pocket and threw that. This one we were still losing by about three touchdowns. He threw it, it deep to Jeff KJ. Thomas. Um, yeah. Jeff Thomas caught the ball. He came back, caught the ball, uh, rolling out of bounds, jumped up, threw the, threw the first down sign up. I said, JT about to go off. It was like yeah. it was like he had just got a jolt of energy. And he and, and he guess, was like, okay, yeah. okay. Yep. And guess what happened with the rest of the team? They got a jolt. Of, oh, oh, okay. So it ain't over? So you telling me if the play breaks down, the court Nikosi fit up, oh, we still got a shot to catch the ball. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna be a sack. Oh my god, let me run extra hard. Let me let me oh. Ooh, let me double move, triple move. Let me do something to to get my shine. Okay, so let me tell you what people are saying right now. Let me tell you, there's people who listen to this and they're saying, you're going to take Jaron out just because he had one bad half? And then they're going to say, Nikosi threw an interception in the end zone, and he also threw an interception that got, um, uh, interception that got, um, Taken off because of a flag. What do you? Okay. What do you? What would you say to those people? Because that 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 would be the rebuttal. What I would say to those people were is this: How many four touchdown? How many four touchdown four hundred yard games does Jaron have? How many times have Jaron um, brought us back from a deficit to the point where we scored thirty five unanswered? Like, bro, we didn't. We don't score points like this. What did we score during Central Michigan? Re- refresh, refresh their memory. Uh, I think we scored a total of seventeen points. Seventeen points versus Central Michigan at home, mm. right? Th- that is correct, sir. How much did we score against Florida? Florida, we scored twenty something. It was twenty four twenty. We we scored twenty points. Mm. How much did we score at North Carolina? Uh, twenty five. Thank you. We scored six three against Bethune Cookman. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's keep it. Okay, here we go. So 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 you you notice I didn't mention Bethune Cookman, right? I, I noticed. I noticed. All right. All right. All right. So we 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 know we know we gonna keep it one thousand a day. All right. So so like I said, when the last time Jared threw a four hundred yard four touchdown game, interception or not, I don't, I don't care about a callback interception. I don't care about an interception dropped because Jared threw plenty of drop interceptions. All I care about is. Number one, are, are, do we look like do we look like a competing team? You know, outside of the penalties, with Kosi on that uh, behind center, more than with Jaron behind center, I say yes. Guess guess how many receivers caught the ball today? How many? Mark Pope. Mike Harley, D. Wiggins, D. Wiggins, Jeff Thomas, K.J. Osborne, Brevin Jordan. How many targets do we generally see when we look at Jaron throwing the ball? When does he when does he spread the ball out that much? He's gonna lean more towards Brevin. Let's keep it one thousand, right? That's his safety valve. He has a really good rapport with Brevin. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. He has tried to hit Harley in some spots. He just couldn't get that ball, you know, hitting guys on the run a lot. He, he's been having issues with hitting guys with room to run on the run. And like I said before, JT, it, it, it felt like he was a part of the game plan because Perry wasn't afraid. Mm. Throw the ball in mm-hmm. windows, and you could see where he forced. Like even the even the interception. Listen, 
it's fourth down. You call it, you call it number one. We didn't call not one run down there. Okay, got, let's got within the five, got within the five yard line and threw the Four ball. Down, first time. The ball. And and the that's what back I up for about Enos. Falling in love with that goddamn playbook. That's what I keep saying. So you expected this kid four downs when we keep getting a penalty or we, you know, or an issue, and then Brevin drops one. Then the second one is questionable. Could have been a pass of the first. I don't know. I didn't see. I, I I couldn't tell. And then fourth down. It's fourth down. No matter what, he got to force it in there. I don't care who he threw it to. Even if they dropped it, the interception is, is null and void because it ended up on the one-yard line. If you roll it to your right and you got one, maybe two people, and you got one guy, who, who, who got one person on him, and then you got another guy who got two people in him in traffic, you throw it to the one guy rolling towards the out-of-bounce line, and then the, the DB breaks on the ball, intercepts it, comes out of the end zone, gets out of bounce at the one-yard line or two-yard line. What is that? You already went for it on fourth down. You ain't go for a field goal. That's an incomplete pass. Is it not? You're right. You're right. So I'm not I, I don't care much about that one. Yeah, we left we left, we left seven points on the board. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Six points. There's no such thing as seven points with our team no more. Preach it. We yeah. left six points on the board. Excuse me. And you know what's funny? Before that PAT, I, I was like, please, Bubba, make this. Please make this. And I didn't say that all game. For all of the other touchdowns, I didn't say, please, Bubba, make this. But I knew the significance, and I knew where think, we was. It was the fourth quarter. But I knew this was a – I knew this was a crucial – because we already made a two-point conversion. I knew this was a crucial um, conversion. And I knew the kid – it's something about him with these damn – Co- conversions, and, and it's like you know, oh my god! And, and guess what? If if I jinx them, I guarantee eighty to ninety percent of our fan base jinxed because I know I wasn't the only one saying, "Please make this bubble." Oh, I know you man. over there. I know you oh, did it. And, um, you I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I was I was still calming down because that from was that from, that that sixty two yeah. yard run was yeah. like hey. It, that was like a a statement of what DJ Dallas has done at Miami, what he is his, of his effort at Miami. Since this, mm-hmm. even before this kid got here, he was the leading yeah. recruiter in his class. He was throwing up the U at, at his high school games. And man, yep. since, since he was a freshman, and I was just so proud of him. And then I was just calming down, and then all that went out the window when Bubble Baxter went up there and missed that field goal. Let me go. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. And I'm gonna ask you all one right. more question, guys. We're here with Anthony, the insider who works with Canesville. Make sure you check out Canesville football. Also, guys, uh, make sure you check out the Seat Geek app. It's the app that gets you the tickets to all of the games. If you want to go to another Miami game, I know a lot of y'all are gonna be second guessing it now. But uh, go to the SeatGeek app, um, get you $20 off by typing in the code NMDTV. No space, just NMDTV. Okay, so before the season, I heard a lot of people talking about undefeated. I heard a lot of people talking about one and two losses. Well, with this loss, we're pretty much eliminated from winning the Coastal. We're pretty much eliminated, I believe. I think there's like maybe a chance, but as of right now, I think we're pretty much eliminated. Is this season a failure? Yes or no? Why or why not? Um, it's too early to tell if it's a failure um, because it ain't how you start; it's how you finish. And we're starting. We're just starting a new regime. Um, we've got a lot of players that we still haven't seen on the field. We got a lot of um, things that you know we're kicking the tires on this offense, this defense, the the schemes. The, the 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 coaches everything so you know obviously our expectations were higher but if it depending on how we finish if we start to look like a team 
you know, to to end to end off this season, to to start seeing signs.